Hello class, for the cooking assignment for this week, uh, I decided to make some zurdik, which is a sour uh, soup from Poland that's made from fermented rye. Um, we made this one mostly because it was, we had a packet for it in our pantry, and with us having COVID, we're trying not to go out as much as possible, and um, otherwise we've gone down to the Polish store and gotten some, some good stuff to make a fancy pierogi meal or another fancy dinner. But as it is, we stuck with the Zurich. Um, like I said, it's a Polish soup made from fermented rye. It's got a it's a it's a very sour taste, but it's also really creamy. Um, like I said in the other discussion for this week, uh, Polish food likes to have a lot of strong flavors in it. Um, for me, it's one of my favorite soups. I really usually wasn't a very big pop person or very fond of like soups in America. I mean, we'd have chicken noodle soup every now and then or, um, you know, grilled cheese and tomato soup, but nothing really stood out as like exciting for soups. But then my wife introduced me to a bunch of Polish soups and Zurich was one of them and it's definitely been one of my favorites. Uh, when we make Zurich, usually we'd have sausage with it, but we didn't have any sausages this time, so we just stuck with the soup. Um, chopped up carrots, onions, and potatoes. The potatoes and carrots and onions to give it just a little bit more flavor, but also make it a little more hearty and um, a little more filling. Uh, the steps for this are really simple. I mean, it's not like a super homemade one, because we had a packet. Um, so we chop up the onions and pepper, or not peppers, the onions, the potatoes, and the carrots. And then we um, fry up the onions and a little bit of oil in the pot that we're going to use. Once those are fried up for about three to five minutes, we add some water, get that boiling a little bit, and then boil the potatoes and carrots to soften them up. Once those are pretty decently soft, we add the soup packet to the boiling water to make it the Zurich soup. Uh, stir it in, let it simmer for a little bit. Um, it's not a very runny soup, usually it's a little on the thicker side, or at least I like it a little bit more on the thick side. And then usually we would serve it with bread, but we haven't been able to go out in a little bit, so... Again, no bread, so it's a very basic uh, Zurich without the bread, without the eggs, and without the, uh, the sausage. Um, I, I definitely enjoy this soup. Um, especially out here in Colorado where it's usually pretty cold lately. It's nice to have a that strong flavor and something nice and warm and easy to make. Um, and the pictures that I post down below, you can obviously see that we have the, the ingredients laid out, chopped up and stuff. Usually it takes about 10 minutes to make. It's a really good, quick, easy and hearty meal that keeps you warm. Um, yeah. Zurich is uh, definitely not for everybody. I've had a couple friends that aren't too fond of its flavor because of the sourness, but if you ever get a chance or see it anywhere, I would highly recommend you give it a shot because it is by far one of my favorite soups I've ever had.